going on, y'all? You are tuning in to another exciting episode of Cardio with Mario, the cooking version. We have the cardio version, and then we have the cooking version to show you how to get, stay to where you've gotten, okay? Meaning losing weight. And since January, I went from a size 38 to a 34, and I'm so excited about that. I just want, look, look, look at your boy's progress right there. Yeah. Hi. I went from a 38.40 to a size 34. Now, we are going to cook spaghetti today. That's right. This is an Italian pop star singing. That's right. You know, when I cook my different dish, I like to have different music to represent that dish. So we're listening to a little bit of Italian pop music right now to cook our spaghetti. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a pound of ground turkey and also a pack of sausage. Now, my personal favorite is like the Lewis Rich turkey sausage. You can do like a Bob Evans sausage or whatever if you like pork and you cook them separate. You, you cook your ground turkey and you put your sea salt, your oregano and whatever kind of seasonings you like, you know, to spice up your turkey and don't do anything to the the sausage okay you cook your sausage in a in a different frying pan and then you mix them together and this is what you get right here so this is um ground turkey and sausage right here okay now what i'm going to do is i hate to cut up garlic because my hands smell like it for 72 hours so i always buy the minced garlic that's already that's already chopped up we're going to do just a half a teaspoon just a half a teaspoon Right there. And we're gonna put that in there. Just throw it in there. Like, BAM! Put it in there. That's right. Now, I've already cut up my mushrooms, and what you want to do is just put a little bit of water in the mushrooms and it'll make them dissolve. And this is the mushroom. So we're gonna put the mushrooms in there as well. Uh, rinse them off too. You don't want that dirty mushroom water in there. So after you boil your mushrooms, rinse them off, set them aside, and then I have green peppers, onions, and red peppers. We're going to put those in there as well. You just cut those jokers up. And then they'll get soft once you start marinating all your foods together. So I'll put that in there. Now, my buddy Rich was like, what do you mean when you always say you puree your tomatoes? I cut up to the tomatoes. And I put olive oil in them, oregano, and you can use whatever tomatoes you like. Some people like sweet tomatoes. I, I like the sweet tomatoes. Um, but you cut up your tomatoes, and then you just boil them a little bit till they're almost like really mushy or whatever, but not so mushy because you don't want tomato soup. We're making spaghetti. Hello, somebody hear me. And, um, and like I said, you put it aside, and then you make it all, you know, you put them all together once everything is done. Now, due to you, YouTube restrictions, I only have 10 minutes to cook a dish for you, not 30 minutes. I hate to do part one and part two of a video because somebody might not click on part two. Hello, you got to get them at part one. The Alamo. Okay. So, you puree your tomatoes, like I said, and your, to your tomatoes, oregano, and your olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, if you will. Okay, put that right there. And always clean off your surface. I use Clorox bleach cleanup and always wash your hand. I'm watching you, okay? Because if you don't wash your hands, I'm not gonna taste it. Hello? I know somebody hears me. And we're gonna mix this together. And then we're gonna uh, put it back on the stove to let it marinate, okay? Now you guys know I love my spinach. So why would I put spinach in this? Ugh. So, you can either get like a bag of spinach and then you boil it like so. This is back here doing the J Boogie Baby. This is my spinach and I have onions and I put a little olive oil in there and um, we're going to get to business. Now, today I am not using wheat pasta. I'm going to cheat. I am using, it's like a, a bow tie pasta here, just so you guys can see. Let's put it in this strainer here. Always got the heavy strainer around when you cook it. But um, just so you can kind of see the pasta, they're little bow ties. See? In case you go into a black tie affair, you can always have your bow tie. 
put it right there on your neck. All right. So once your bow tie pasta is finished being um, boiling, which like I said, I had to pre-boil it because I don't have 30 minutes, I only have 10, and I already used five minutes and 21 seconds of those 10 minutes, okay? So I gotta get the business. Okay, so we're gonna put the um, bow tie pasta, which I know I've been telling you guys to do wheat, but we have got to live a little pumpkin. Wash the starch off your pasta. There's nothing worse than having a good sauce with starchy pasta. So we're gonna wash this um, starch off the pasta. And you can use cold water in order to get that off of there, right there. Okay, and then we're gonna re-rinse out our pot that we cooked the pasta in and put it back in there. Put that right there for all the pumpkin bears. So I'm rinsing my bow tie pasta off with cold water. I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, so we're gonna come back. This is already a mad dish right here. Really, you don't have to do anything more. So you have your pureed tomatoes, Cut your mushrooms, boil your mushrooms, rinse your mushrooms off, and you put your onions and your garlic and your turkey sausage and your tur ground turkey, a pound of ground turkey. I'm just going to taste you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be divine. Now, you also want to do safety tips. If you have children and brothers and sisters, cousins, niece and nephews running around the kitchen, always turn your frying pan handle inward. So you don't have any mistakes, okay? Because we just want to make some some good old spaghetti without mistakes, scalding the babies and everything, okay? Actually, I would like to dedicate this video to my two sisters, Allison and Nina. This is my sister Nina and her family. They lived in Italy for I think it's five years, and that's her husband and her children and everything. Hey Nina Ray! Hey Allison! And they both had a baby on the same day. They're twins. And they had a baby on the same day last week. I'm like, what are the chances of twins having a baby on the same day? They should get some kind of award. Those girls are battling, okay? Work at Apple Bears. So we're gonna take this elbow pasta out, like I said, and we've rinsed it off. And then we put it right back in here. Now we are gonna do a part two on the finished product. I would love for you to see how it looks. We're gonna put this right back on the stove. Warm that pasta up. Now, with my pasta water, forgot to tell you, I put water in here, I do a tidbit of vinegar, and also a tidbit of cooking oil to, so your pasta doesn't stick. And you've always got to constantly stir your pasta so it doesn't stick. Have you ever had spaghetti and all of them stick together like this? It's like, okay. I don't know how that looks and I don't know how that feels and tastes, but I don't like my pasta sticking together. Now, I, you guys marinate over here. So you do what you do, and I do what I do over here. Oh, look at this spinach. Oh, I invented spinach. I don't know if y'all know. But if you use spinach, you got to give me the copyright money for it because I invented spinach. Look at that. It's just fabulous. I'm spilling it all over the place. I'm so excited because I love spinach. And I'm just going to taste you spinach. Okay, we're going to put that right back there. You don't want to get too mushy. But like I said, you put onions in your spinach and um, a little olive oil, some sea salt. And everybody's like, Maria, why do you love the sea salt? You crunch that joker up right there. And then you put it right here in that spinach. Just a tidbit of sea salt. Because it's healthy. That's why. And we're going to come back with part two of Cardio with Mario cooking spaghetti and listening to Italian music. We're going to find a different Italian song too. I love the Alamo, but we are going to find some more Italian music. We're almost finished um, with our 10 minutes, so we have to do part two. Okay, and I got to let you say, oh, it smells so good in here. I'm getting so excited. But I'll see you next time on Cardio with Mario part two. Don't forget to click on part two of the video because you have got to see the finished product, okay? We ride or die. We don't die, we multiply. Peace.